Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. In today's open studio lesson, we're going to take a look at the artwork of Carmen Herrera. First, we're gonna check out her biography and then look at some of her work. And then we're gonna try a 3D art project inspired by her work. Okay, let's get started. Carmen Herrera is a Cuban-American abstract minimalist painter. Abstract art is art that isn't meant to represent anything real. Instead, it uses shapes, colors, and forms to create an effect. Minimalist art is a form of abstract art that includes very limited, simple shapes. Herrera was born in Havana in 1915. Today, at the age of 105, she is still hard at work making art. She moved to New York in 1939 with her husband and then lived in Paris for five years where she met avant-garde artists who greatly influenced her work. For almost 60 years, her work went pretty much undiscovered. It wasn't until she was in her 80s did she start receiving recognition. Herrera sold her first paintings in 2004 at the age of 89 and her career took off. This is a series of works called Blanco y Verde. Notice the crisp, clean lines. She once said, I'll always be in awe of the straight line. Its beauty keeps me painting. This series was created over a 12-year period with 14 pieces known in the total collection. Several of the pieces have sold at auction for about $2.9 million each. It's these pieces that are going to be our inspiration for today's project. You'll need some cardboard or chipboard, some brown paper packing tape if you have it, and if not, just strips of colored paper, and a small paper cup. First, cut two pieces of cardboard measuring 12 inches long by 3 inches wide. Take the paper cup and pinch together the top of the cup. You'll fold one of the cardboard pieces in half. You're creating a teepee so the cup will prop up the folded piece. Take several pieces of your paper and soak them in the glue wash and then carefully wrap them around the cardboard. Don't make them too wet or they'll tear. Once your cardboard is completely covered with paper and it makes a good solid triangle, you can glue the whole piece down to a white piece of paper or board. This portrait of Herrera is part of a series called Cuba Out of Cuba, meant to celebrate Cuban life off the island. Thanks so much for joining me for today's open studio lesson. I hope you had a good time making your 3D art. We would love to see the results. If you wouldn't mind posting your work on social media with the hashtag MyMPG, then we can all check it out. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.